What's going on, everybody? How you feeling? It's your boy Rad Torado, and welcome back to the Next Level Fear Show, everybody. I uh, you, you have you guys been have you guys been paying attention to the ridiculousness that we see on social media, YouTube for one, in regards to the dieting, the diets, uh, the different types of diets, uh, the different types of workouts uh, that all of the influencers are trying to shove down our throat. If you're a big YouTube uh, watcher like I am, I tend to watch more YouTube now than anything else, uh, you're going to realize that a lot of these influencers who have millions of followers uh, obviously are just running out of shit to say because a lot of the the stuff that they're they're saying and coming up with just don't make any sense to the average person and you're going to find yourself confused uh, maybe even disappointed because the types of workouts the diet plans the uh, the instructions that these individuals are giving you, they're just giving you the, this, this sort of knowledge to keep themselves relevant. And this, the video is not, today's video is not to hate on anybody else, but, but kind of come at you with a more realistic viewpoint when you guys are trying to lose weight, gain muscle and and progress in life in general. Like I can make this video super short and just say, you gotta eat less to see your abs. You gotta be in a calorie deficit and that's it. Wrap it up. But I'm guessing because these guys wanna keep their viewership and they wanna keep the, the subscribers engaged, they have to do like extra shit. It's like they got to go above and beyond on the videos to by adding like B-roll, uh, adding just conversation that does not need to be added. There's no secrets. There's no tricks. There's no gimmicks. There's no fast way uh, uh, to get in shape and to especially if you are really really overweight there is no fast way let me start off with that right there you can't expect to lose a hundred pounds for those of you that are a hundred pounds overweight in eight weeks or 16 weeks it's, it's just not going to happen and and for those of you that are watching videos like that you're just feeding this imaginary thought that you have in your head that you look at somebody and you say i can see myself like that individual right over there uh abbed up obliques are showing everything is just looking spectacular and you think you can get like that in in a few months and i got news for you it's never gonna happen never take the you take any professional bodybuilder any ifbb pro bodybuilder today you're never going to be like that guy i'm sorry to tell you the average individual will never achieve that level of physique because there's so much involved to get there there's so much these guys have been training damn for decades some of these guys have been training for decades and using performance enhancement drugs for decades, that's not you. If you're an average person like myself and you have an average physique or you were a bit overweight, maybe 60, 70 pounds overweight, you can look good, but it's not going to happen right away. You're talking minimum at least a year for you to see any significant changes in your body and actually keep those gains. 
A lot of you are having trouble. A lot of you guys are having trouble with with uh, dieting, and that's that's the big thing, man. Dieting is like, damn, dieting is just everything. Honestly, uh, because without a proper diet, you ain't going anywhere. You're gonna look down, look down right now, look down. And look at your stomach and see how big it is. That it's never going to go anywhere without proper dieting. It's never going to go anywhere without being in a calorie deficit. Never, ever. I don't care if you do 2,000 sit-ups a day. You will never see your abs. Never. Because what do you need to see your abdominal muscles? Not more sit-ups. Not more hanging leg raises. <laughs> not more weighted crunches. You guys are dumb. You've been doing the same dumb shit for 10 years and you still ain't see your abs. You know why I say that? Because I used to be one of them. <laughs> one of these dumb dudes going to the gym doing weighted crunches you know with the cable weighted crunches for what purpose because you honestly believe that that's going to make your abs show <laughs> these guys look the same way for years <laughs> for years and years and years and YouTube has been around for, oh, damn, I, I want to say, what, 20 years? I mean, the knowledge has been dropped for decades, and you guys are still still doing the same dumb shit. Abdominal work is going to strengthen your core. It's going to strengthen your abs. You may even add some muscle tissue on your abdominal or around your abdominal area. Yeah, and you might be able to do hanging leg raises and keep your legs pointing straight outward like a gymnast and all that stuff is great, but you still got a belly. You still can't see your abs. So yeah, it can be you you can if the goal is to have stronger abs, then great. Great, continue doing that. If the goal is to is to have a nice blocky waist, Great. Continue doing that, guys. Awesome. <laughs> but if your goal is to have a six pack or somewhat of a six pack, maybe the outward appearance of a six pack, it doesn't have to be chiseled and defined because honestly, you wouldn't even be able to live that way for too long without either overeating or just being miserable. Remember, most of us are coming from a weight class where we're about 75 to 150, maybe even 200 pounds overweight. And so for you to get down to that level, it's just not going to happen. And it's not going to happen this year, next year. It might not even happen until the third year. You need time. And that's where people fail. People don't have patience. And they yo-yo diet. And they do all these crazy fad diets. Why? Because I was one of those people. I'm just talking from experience. And so, how, I mean, how did I get myself down to a 30-inch waist? Took me three years to do it. Three years. I started in 2020. And it was a lot of cardio. It was a lot of learning with dieting. And I didn't do not one ab workout. Not one in three years. Not one. I'll say it again. Not one. You don't need it. You do not need ab work to see your abs. What you need is to be in a calorie deficit. 
Either that or you need to move more by doing more cardio. Okay? I don't care what cardio you want to do. You want to do hit cardio. You want to run. You want to walk. It doesn't matter. It's just energy. You need to expend more energy than you're consuming. That's all that that's all that it means. That's it. It's not rocket science. But you'll have these influencers that'll use all these big words and try to break it down on a molecular level. What your body goes through. These guys don't know what the hell they're talking about. They have no idea what they're talking about, man. These guys are guessing. They're all guessing. Everybody's guessing. Here's why. If I dropped you off on an island for 30 days with no tools whatsoever and said, good luck, I guarantee you some of you will die the majority of you will lose a shit ton of weight. Everybody. All, all the people that say that they have other ailments and I have high insulin, low insulin, diabetes, whatever they want to call it. Uh, Pre-existing conditions in their life. I guarantee you, you will lose weight. I got a sweet tooth. <laughs> I remember my grandmother used to say that I'm big because I got a sweet tooth. You know, I'm built this way. I'm built big. <laughs> I have so many conversations with so many people, man, about, you know, weight and dieting and stuff. And they always want to be like, well, I'm big boned. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Your bones are big. <laughs> How the fuck do you know that? How the fuck do you know that? Why? Because you got wide ass shoulders. <laughs> you're fat. You're not big boned. You're fat. That's what it is. You're fat. You eat too much. Everybody paying for a personal trainer. That, I will honestly say would probably that that's worth it because there's a lot of smart guys out there that know how to train and know how to train properly uh a lot of influencers that i follow you can check to see who i follow and you'll see them uh these guys know what they're talking about uh dr mike isratel from rp renaissance periodization that guy is the freaking he's the goat and when it comes to training and he's he's pretty jacked uh he's not natural you know and he says it he's been on steroids for a long time but just because he's on steroids you can't take away from an individual who's on steroids because you still got to put that work in you can you can be on steroids and still look like crap you can be on steroids and never grow i'm telling you you could be on steroids and it just won't it won't happen for you because genetics play an important role in that process as well. So I would much rather follow the individuals that are teaching the science of how to train because you're going to benefit from that. When it comes to the dieting aspect of it, like the, the dieting part, God, man, there's so many like there's so much misinformation out there. It, it's incredible just stop eating so much that is it like there's nothing else to talk about stop eating so much and 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 whatever diet that you like whether it be keto you're a vegan I, it doesn't matter paleo just eat whatever makes you freaking happy but try to eat in a deficit if you're trying to see your abs and you should start now. You should start now slowly because the slower you the slower the diet goes, the better it is. The more chances you're going to have on not failing. Why? Because when you keep your calories low but not too low, okay? Like we know 500 calorie 
uh, a 500 calorie deficit every single day for seven days, you're going to burn a calorie, uh, a pound of fat. Okay. This is supported by science. All right. It's not coming from me. You reduce 500 calories a day from your diet, multiply that by seven days, boom, you lost it. You lost a pound of fat, apparently. Okay. Prioritize protein, but also you need fat in your diet and you need carbs. So for all you freaking dirty keto uh, 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 supporters out there, because you guys ain't doing keto correctly, all you dirty keto supporters, um, you're eating too much. And there's way too much fat in your diet and there's not enough protein. That's why you still look the way you look. And for those of you that are that are pretty lean, right? For those of that that 0.01%. For those of you that are lean already, that is genetics. Whenever you see those guys that are super super lean, man, that is genetics. Yes. You can never be that way. Anybody trying to get to sub 10% body fat will struggle daily. Anybody. The guys that you see walking around shredded, that is genetics. Those guys are phenoms. Those are the individuals that become the top 1% in bodybuilding and fitness. And these individuals are out here telling you, oh, all I eat is this. This is what I'm talking about in terms of influencers who are just delusional and be lying to you all the time. All I do is push-ups. Look how big my chest is. These guys, I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to, I'm not calling anybody out, but you know who it is. If you're looking at, if you're watching somebody on YouTube and this individual is jacked to the gills, they're on steroids and they have better genetics than you. Period. You got you, you, you to gotta understand this. Look at yourself right now. If you're not semi-lean, if you can't see the outward appearance of your abdominal muscles, if you don't have quads, big calves, shoulders any definition in your arms i'm sorry to tell you i'm sorry to disappoint you but you're not going to look like they like them i'm sorry to tell you you got to work you got to work harder than they do especially if you're trying to do this shit naturally especially if you're over 50 you got to work that much harder So what am I saying, man? I'm saying that if you start now by putting yourself in a calorie deficit and you start training and let's just say you want to lose a pound a week, which is good. That's a good slow pace, four pounds a month. Okay. From now till next year, that's 36 pounds of fat. That's a lot. That's a noticeable difference. Anybody who, who believes that they need just 30 pounds of fat loss, you can start right now. By next year, you'll look phenomenal. So let's just say 500 calories a day is the goal. That's what you need. You don't have to just cut out the food. You could either cut out the food and not do cardio, or you can do cardio and not cut out the food it all depends on you if you're the type of person that needs more food then do more cardio all right so you would have to burn 500 calories a day word of advice don't rely on your step pedometer don't rely on that here's the question are you changing what you weigh every week 
Have you gone into the app and readjusted how much you weigh when you're losing weight? Because the more weight you lose, the less calories you're going to burn. So if you're walking at a steady pace of, let's just say, I don't know, uh, you're walking, I don't know, three miles per hour, let's just say, okay? And you dropped, I don't know, three pounds over the last month. If you didn't, if you didn't change that, that weight difference, uh, your calories are going to still be showing for what you you weighed at three pounds heavier. And a lot of people don't realize that. So at five, at 150 pounds, I'm burning more calories doing the same pace, same exercise, right? Then if I dropped, let's just say five pounds and now I'm one, I'm 145, right? Well, at the same pace, same distance, I'm burning less calories at that weight. Try it out. The more weight you drop, the less calories you burn, the harder it is to burn more calories. So you have to adjust the weight inside your phone or wherever it is, whatever app you have. A lot of people forget that. And then they're like, man, why am I not losing weight? Well, because you got to push harder. You got to push harder. The, the more weight you lose, the harder you have to train. Your body is trying to fight you and say, hey, we need this fat. We need this. What are you doing here? So they, it, it shuts down and you plateau. And so now you have to do more cardio or you have to le eat less food. I find it easy for me uh, to be at 155 to 160 now. Uh, I weighed myself this morning and I was 157. And I find it easy to be here because I'm, I'm walking. I'm taking about... I would say 18,000 steps a day, but I'm still having 2,000 calories, right? So if I want to drop weight, something's got to give. Either I cut my calories from 2,000 or I increase my step count from 18 to 24. It's a lot of walking. But you got to do one or the other. If you don't have the time and you can't walk for three hours a day, then guess what? then you got to cut the calories and that's where everybody fails. So if you don't have the time, you got to start eating better foods. And now this is where I go into eating better foods, right? So what foods are going to make you more satiated? Foods that are probably higher in fat and in fiber, which means you need more vegetables and you're probably going to need a little bit of meat for those of you that eat meat. All right, you can get your fat from peanuts, but I wouldn't suggest that. Why? Because peanuts are high caloric foods. They're very dense. One freaking bag of peanuts is not going to keep you full. You will be starving. So what do I recommend? Eggs. Three or four eggs in the morning. Some broccoli. A little bit of rice. Maybe 100 grams of rice. And that's my first meal. What would be my second meal? My second meal would be, uh, I would make a burger, uh, ground beef, season it up a little bit, some salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic, uh, throw some onions in there. Again, I would have that. Uh, I would make sure uh, that, that the ground beef patty cooked is 151 grams, okay? And I would have that. Uh, along with some more broccoli and uh, another 100 grams of rice. My third meal would be some, uh, some grilled chicken or big chicken, whatever it is. Uh, eight ounces of that, again, with some vegetables, more broccoli, and another 100 grams of rice. Okay? I'm not saying 100 carbs of rice, 100 grams of rice. It's literally this small. My fourth meal, okay, each meal is about 500 calories, but my fourth meal would either be the same thing, either chicken, eight ounces of chicken, or I would leave my fourth meal out for a cheat meal. So I, if I know that I can uh, 
I could afford to go to sleep and not be hungry, then maybe I'll have some popcorn. Or maybe I'll have a serving of ice cream, something that's going to make me feel good and not miserable throughout the day. Like all I got to do is eat rice, chicken or beef, rice, broccoli, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll go to bed and I'll go to bed feeling great. Okay. Um, I think that, uh, uh, I've done videos in the past with dieting. I've done videos in the past with training and all that stuff, man. And I, I think that you guys should, should definitely go take a look at them because I get in depth with training and I also get more in depth with dieting and uh, counting calories and the fact that everybody should have a scale if they're trying to drop weight. I, I, I go through it all. But sometimes when I'm on the internet and I'm just like on YouTube and I look at these uh, influencers and I'm like these guys are just doing this shit to keep their viewership they've been saying the same shit for, for, for 10 years okay the same shit they just got to do different things <laughs> to keep you guys interested but like I said in the very what two minutes of this video it, it, it could have been over with by saying just stay in the deficit and you'll see your abs alright with that being said guys I'm gonna leave it here um I will come back with another video about the, the, the type of insane training methods that they're, that they're showing you, thinking that it, you, you guys will see it on my next video. There's some crazy shit happening, man. <laughs> I think they're just running out of ideas to keep you guys interested. And that's why they're just coming up with these dumb videos about training and how to train. <sighs> I'll see you on the next one.